I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a product which I very, very often use. In fact, I use lots of it. It is in the family of hairsprays, free sprays, those type of sprays I use all the time. I use them every single day to style my hair. Now, the one which we are going to be talking about today is by Moroccan Oil. And this is a hairspray which I received as a free gift when I made a purchase purchasing Christmas gifts back in December. So I've received this because I spent over a certain amount of look fantastic. Now, I had a look just to be able to get this out there now. If you wanted to purchase this, the price ranges from around the £17 mark all the way up to around about the £25 mark. Now, it is a bit of an investment, and what I love to do on my channel, particularly with products like this, which are of a hairspray product, and we all know you can go to a local supermarket and you can spend around about two, three, four pounds, can't you? And of course, if you go online and all the sort of the specialty hair sort of providers, those sort of stalls, which sell all those real top end products, you can spend sometimes 30 pounds, if not a little bit more on hairspray products. So this one is a premium product. Now, let's tell you a little bit about it first of all, and then I will get into how I found the product. So it's by Moroccan Oil. Now, if nobody does if what is watching this and they're not 100% sure what this is. I was aware of Moroccan oil quite a few years ago because when I used to go and get my hair cut, I used to see Moroccan oil products in, on display and they were using them on their clients and they were actually selling them. But I've noticed in recent years, Moroccan oil doesn't seem to be in any of the hairdressers I've been into, whereas before it had quite a heavy footing in there. So whether or not there's been a bit of a change or a bit of a different trend of where these particular places are sort of putting their clients sort of likes or dislikes, or if, for example, it could just be some, simply something that it did not sell quite possibly. Now, let's have a look at the product itself. So this is by Moroccan Oil. It's a luminous hairspray and it's a strong finish. Here on the bottom, it says it's weightless, natural look and a no sticky residue. It's 330 mils. On the back here, it's informing us that it's a strong, flexible, weightless hold, maintains style as it keeps hair looking soft and natural. The unique finishing formula veils hair in a reflective shield of shine that fights frizz and humidity yet brushes out easily and leaves no residue. Okay, so the directions which it gives is hold can 10 inches from your head and spray on dry hair. For added volume, spray onto the roots before styling. So we've already covered that I received this as a free gift. So of course I didn't actually purchase this, but I did make a purchase to look fantastic in how I received it. Now, Personally, I didn't use this one straight off at all. I actually gave this for my mum to use because I know that she uses a lot of hairsprays and she has very, very long hair and very often she wears it super high. So she always needs a strong hairspray, but one which looks after your hair. Whereas for me, I like a hairspray which is really, really dry and really and really sort of dries it's so if I've got a style I like it to dry really really quick so I don't like to be hanging about if it's quite wet I like the style to sort of take shape straighter away and then just finish it off so I like a real strong hold uh, free spray now you'll know from my channel one of my ultimate favorites is by the Schwarzkopf got to be range the yellow can glued that's my absolute favorite then recently, I have started using the Redkin uh, hairsprays from that family of products, and they are absolutely amazing. And I can just go with a style. I can style it. I don't have to keep spraying it, keep sort of faffing, combing it back around into place, and then spraying a bit more and a bit more and a bit more. Those sort of hairsprays, which I've talked about, fantastic. This one is very, very different. Now, straight away, the smell from this is very much like the Moroccan oil family of products. Now, I know that because I haven't actually reviewed them on my channel, but my mum has used them in the past in our family bathroom. So I'm very, very used to that smell. And uh, not for a few years now, but the smell has not changed at all. So straight away, when you use this, you note the smell from the family uh, product. So with this, what I would say straight away is I was really, really surprised. And unfortunately, not necessarily in a good way. So having said that the Moroccan oil family of products are really, really good. They are very, very high quality in that premium range. I know that because my mum's used them. The reason why I thought I would give this a try is because my mum didn't actually get on with this at all very much with her hair. She actually found that it didn't leave her hair feeling very nice at all and that she struggled to get the hold which she wanted or desired from a hairspray. And I thought, OK, I've got a shorter hair. My hair's cut into. It's a lot more finer than my mum's. Um, this, I'm going to give it a try, and then I'm going to talk about it on my channel. I have used this a handful of times, 
and straight away you can tell it's a good product you can tell it's got some really great ingredients in here but what i would say straight away is it says that it's a stronghold hairspray hmm for me it's a really really low hold hairspray because when i styled my hair this morning I have highlighted hair as you can see. Now I want products which are gonna look after my hair but yet still give me a really, really good style. Very often the stronger hairsprays which I've talked about in this clip, they can sometimes take a hold of your hair and very often they can sometimes just make your hair feel as though you've got this real strong product in. But however, it's not damaging but it just makes you feel as though you've got quite a lot of product in. Sometimes I absolutely love that. But now I've got highlighted hair, I really like products which look after my hair and go the whole weight of actually keeping the most top condition in my hair. And that's why when I thought I thought about this hairspray and I thought when my mum wasn't getting on with that, I thought it's got the Moroccan oil in here, it's got all these properties in here, which I thought are going to really look after the lighter hair, which I have. Hmm. When I started using this, I started my hair with a blow dryer, so shampooed, conditioned my hair, started my hair in a, with a blow dryer, um, a brush, slipped it all back how I wanted to, very much how I like what I've got it now. It is a lot longer, so bear in mind it does take a little bit more product to hold it, and it does take that bit more of a higher hold hairspray to keep it in place. So anyway, the first time I used this, I sprayed it in place, walked out of the bathroom, I thought I can feel my hair moving around. Went back in the bathroom, it was literally like I hadn't sprayed a product in at all. And I absolutely hate that. So straight away you're thinking this premium product, which has a higher, higher price tag on it, has all these ingredients in here, which is supposed to look after my hair, and it says it's a stronghold hairspray. Didn't hold my hair in place at all. So that happened the first time I used it, and I had to go back in a couple of times. So unfortunately I had to use a different hairspray, my favourite one by Schwarzkopf, the Blasting Glued Spray, I mean the yellow can, to get the style I wanted, get the, the fixed, sort of fixed style I wanted, then I could go about my day. I tried this a handful of times, tried it again this morning, and the same thing happened. So I think it's a fair evaluation to say, if you've got a style, like for example, like what I've got today, and you need that sort of that higher hold of a product, or that higher hold sort of styling product, or say for example, you may even use only use hairspray and then brush it into place. I've done that before, very often I do do that. So you need a higher hold product. This I find that you need to spray it, then you need to comb it in place, then you need to spray it again several times before you just get a medium hold. And even then, I went for a walk earlier. I'm having some health problems things with my groin, so I try and get out every day just to get some exercise and keep my hip joint and my groin and everything moving. I felt the wind sort of moving around my style. Then when I come home and I look in the mirror, hmm, you're going to be doing a YouTube clip later on, Bradley. You can't be going on looking with all that messy hair. So use it again. And then I've only just literally just tidied it up again and sprayed it again. So for me, I'll be honest, it wouldn't be a product which I would continue to use. I've only continued to use it so I can give it a fair evaluation on my channel. But I do find with this, where it's very natural, and it's a very soft hold, you have to keep coming back to it and coming back to it, which for me just does not work. Number one, I don't want to keep having to keep coming back to have to keep fixing my style in place. I want something which I'm going to be able to use first thing in the morning and then it's going to stay in place right until I want to wash the product out in the evening. Now, all the time, I don't necessarily wear a, a very solid fixed style all the time. I wear sometimes quite loose. Uh, my hair's quite longish now. It's quite straight. So then I like to have it in a little bit more of a looser style. So, Kate, okay, this would be great then. But then this takes me on to the next cause of what I really don't like. Yes, it's got these products in here, but what I find very, very weird about this, and let's just actually pick up on some of the ingredients in here. So straight away, what the, I just want to touch on what it's got in here. So it's got the argan oil in here, straight away. But it's also got other ingredients, which I'll be honest, I'm not into sort of looking into these long name ingredients in products um, and looking into it in depth. I always find you can have a fair evaluation of how it makes your scalp feel, how it makes your hair feel when you brush it out. And actually, picking up on when my mum used this, she noted that it actually made her hair feel quite straw-like, even though it has argan oil in there. How strange. I thought, okay, I'll try it with my hair. But what I find is when you're spraying it in your hair, you have to be a bit careful because it can almost go like you've got a bit of an oil spray in here as well. Of course, it's got argan oil in here, so you wouldn't be a bit surprised. However, when it eventually dries and you've got your style to where you want it to be and you've sprayed it several times, or in my case a dozen times to hold it in place, then you brush it out, it becomes super dry and it becomes super straw-like. So for me it's really counterintuitive 
it goes against what it's actually trying to do for you, you would purchase an, a Moroccan oil hairspray like this. Number one, because it's a premium product. Number two, because you want the utmost care when you're styling your hair. Brushing it out, to be honest with you, I've had cheaper hairsprays, which have left my hair in better condition. So ultimately, it's a, it's a good spray. It's a, it's a very low hold spray, but I'm just trying to think of the styles and things which you would you would get on well with this. So, for example, if you're a lady watching this and you've got that real glamorous long flowing hair, then okay, you could style your hair and you could spray a little bit of this through it. You wouldn't want too much because you wouldn't want that drying effect. But then, of course, if you want that nice flowing movement in the hair, it would give you a little bit of hold. But then you just want to be a little bit careful how it leaves your hair afterwards. So, OK, that would be great for you. For a man, if you're watching this and you perhaps have used argan oil products and shampoos and conditioners and things before, and you like the look of, that, of this hairspray, which we're talking about, if you've got shorter hair, then OK. A ruffled style, quite loose, quite texturized, this would be good for you. But if you'd like a style like what I've got now, so very combed, and as you can even see, it's not it's not sort of held in place very firmly at all. And if it, you're if you're thinking, yes it is, that's only because I've used my favourite hairspray in here, or free spray rather, which is the Schwarzcroft got to be, to be able to hold it in place. Whereas before that, this keeps it really, really loose, very, very undone. And perhaps that was that's what this hairspray is all about. But I think if you're saying it's a strong finish, to me, that means a real firm hold. So it's going to last and last and last throughout the day until you want to remove the style what you're wearing. So if I was giving this one a marks out of 10, it would be a 5, sadly, to be honest with you. Because yes, it's got argan oil in here. Yes, it's a premium range product. And I know that the, the Moroccan oil which you can buy from this range, is fantastic because my mum's used it. I've gifted it this Christmas to my sister-in-law and my brother's partner, my elder brother's partner, and my twin brother's fiancé. So Moroccan oil I've bought his gifts this year, the Christmas just gone. So I know they're really, really good. However, hairspray, I think they've fallen a little bit short on this, and I think possibly it needs to be looked at again. However, of course, in my humble opinion, probably not going to come to me to give that but as you know with my channel if I find a product whether it's good bad what have you I will talk about it I absolutely love doing this on my channel I get so many great comments so many great questions and I will do my utmost best to get back to you please subscribe and we can continue this journey and you can keep on enjoying great reviews and I can keep having the fun doing them but for now Moroccan oil hairspray for me will be going in the back of our family bathroom cupboard because for me in my hair, it doesn't suit. Great product, range, not so great product. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you can take some things away from that. And until next time, I've really, really enjoyed doing this clip. Stay fit, well and healthy and my very best wishes to you. Until next time, we'll see you then. Bye bye now.